The highest possible stage in moral culture is when we recognize that we ought to control our thoughts. In the midst of movement and chaos, keep stillness inside of you. The best time for you to hold your tongue is the time you feel you must say something or bust. No life ever grows great until it is focused, dedicated, disciplined. Everything one has a right to do is not best to be done. Discipline is the ability to control our conduct by principle rather than by social pressure. It is not necessary to react to everything you notice. Freedom is born of self-discipline. No individual, no nation, can achieve or maintain liberty without self-control. The undisciplined man is a slave to his own weaknesses. The ability to subordinate an impulse to a value is the essence of the proactive person. Willpower and self-discipline are more effective than intellect and talent. Hold yourself responsible for a higher standard than anybody else expects of you. Never excuse yourself. Never pity yourself. Be a hard master to yourself and be lenient to everybody else. Speak when you are angry and you will make the best speech you will ever regret. One painful duty fulfilled makes the next plainer and easier. Anger doesn't demand action. When you act in anger, you lose self-control. I think self-discipline is something, it's like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. In this life, there are countless trails to self-realization. Though most demand intense discipline, so very few take them. The pain of discipline weighs ounces, but the pain of regret weighs tons. Your brain shall be your servant instead of your master. You will rule it instead of allowing it to rule you. Anger is only one letter short of danger. In essence, if we want to direct our lives, we must take control of our consistent actions. It's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives, but what we do consistently. My superpower is self-control. Forcing yourself to do what matters over what does not, however simple. What is difficult, over what is not, however convenient. And what is right over what is bogus, however expedient, is self-discipline. One discipline always leads to another discipline. I think of discipline as the continual everyday process of helping a child learn self-discipline. Discipline yourself to do the things you need to do when you need to do them, and the day will come when you will be able to do the things you want to do when you want to do them. Silence is not always a sign of weakness, it's also a sign of strong self-control. He who angers you conquers you. It takes months and years to develop self-discipline, not days or weeks. Don't give up. 